Hello there, everybody. Uh, Dan Calloway again, and coming to you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And today I want to uh, talk to you about Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus and its use in creating something, an application that's called Tiny Tiny RSS Feed Aggregator. If you're not familiar with that, uh, RSS stands for really simple syndication, and it's basically an application that brings news into uh, into your application from news feeds out on the web. For instance, New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, um, you know, Washington Post, you know, that kind of thing, the drudge. Um, and it's not just for news, but you can put, you know, other things that have feeds, uh, even blogs have feeds, um, feed streams. And so you can bring that to your application. I'm in my Windows 10 Pro machine right now. And I, I bought a Raspberry Pi not too long ago. Looks similar to this one. Um, started out with this one, but I've switched it out to another one. Uh, very similar looking, however, uh, operates identically. And this is the Model 3B uh, Plus uh, Raspberry Pi. I've done a lot of stuff with it. I've got a Pi Hole server on it, a Pi VPN server, uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but recently, I uh, took on a project to create uh, something called the Tiny Tiny RSS Feed Aggregator. And that requires a few bits and pieces to be installed. Um, one of those is the Apache web server. Another is the MySQL server and client. Um, and then setting up the database, uh, you also probably want to grab and install phpMyAdmin for managing that database called TTRSS, um, which gets created. But anyway, um, you know, it's, it's a great application. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Let me pull up the web uh, browser here in Windows 10. It is out running on the Pi, but I can access it via the web um, interface. And so here's my tiny, tiny RSS, and here's the login. So if I go ahead and, well, first of all, before I show you that, let me take you out to the um, TTRSS uh, Raspberry Pi Geek website. This is called www.raspberrypi-geek.com. Um, there's an article there for hosting web-based fee readers on the Raspberry Pi, and this is where I got my idea from. I've used uh, RSS feed aggregators before. They're great. Um, you don't have to go looking all over the web for your news. It brings that news to you directly into one location. Very nice. I'll show you that in a moment. But anyway, uh, I'll put this link out on the, uh, the video at the bottom so you can grab it. But this is the instructions basically on what I did and how to go ahead and set that up. So I'm not going to go into that portion today because you can just follow these directions and set up your own Pi um, application called Tiny Tiny RSS Feed Aggregator. Uh, there were a couple of things I had to do that the uh, website here doesn't talk about, and that's germane to my situation. Uh, PHP module had to be activated uh, with Apache, so that which wasn't by default. So that when I pulled up um, the link initially, I'd, all I got was PHP code. I was able to easily fix that, um, and you may not encounter that problem, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, but anyway, here's the website, and I will put a link out on my video at the bottom, uh, showing you how to get to it. Okay. Uh, also, uh, let's go back out here to my Raspberry Pi Tiny Tiny RSS. Um, here's the wiki website for Tiny Tiny RSS, and it gives you instructions as well on how to install um, the Tiny Tiny RSS for the first time. Uh, they're pretty much the same as the Geek website that I just showed you. But it, this goes into also how to upgrade the Tiny Tiny RSS and that kind of thing. Um, when you get that thing set up, uh, you're going to have to grab some feeds and put in there, and I'll show you how to get into that. Um, but you're also going to have to set a periodicity whereby uh, feeds come into the application. But moreover, you're also going to have to go into uh, CronTab in uh, Raspbian OS, which is what I'm running on the Pi. Raspbian OS, by the way, is a derivative of uh, Debian stretch. It's a derivative of Debian called Debian stretch. And so um, it uses the apt, the aptitude package manager. And 
you'll need to go in and get into CronTab and you'll need to set up a periodicity whereby uh, a file called update.php gets run and mine is set to run every 30 minutes and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back out here again um, to the web and to my web browser rather to the Raspberry Pi to the tiny tiny RSS. Here's the login screen for it. I've got it set up as a dashboard, um, a quick dial, and so if I click on that, it brings up a login screen. Okay, this is what you should see when you set up your tiny tiny RSS. Get it all set up and you're ready to log in for the first time. Now, to get to that website here that uh, you log into, you'll need to go to the IP address, the IPv4 address of your Pi. Mine happens to be 192.168.1.90 forward slash tt-rss. That's the folder. Okay, and when you uh, pull that up in your web browser, this is what you see uh, if you've set it up correctly. All right. I have a login. There is a default login. Uh, the Geek website tells you what that is, so I'm not going to go into that either because um, you won't remember it. And so just go to the Geek website and it'll tell you. If you click on admin, which is what I have, I've reset the password here to my own password. Now, if I click login button, uh, it pulls up the tiny, tiny RSS feed aggregator. Now, this is a great little application. Um, I've got two categories set up here. I've got news and technology. So I, I want to see my news sites that I have right now, and I may change this over time. But right now I've got the BBS news, the BBC news um, homepage, okay, for world news. So the BBC news homepage. I've got the Drudge Report. I've got NBC Meet the Press. And I've got Reuters US and I've got the uh, Washington Post World News. And right now there's one article out there for the Washington Post and there's um, 64 it looks like articles or um, yeah articles for uh, BBC News. Okay, Under technology there isn't anything there right now uh, coming up but I've got technology uh, NPR uh, as the only technology website that that I actually have set up here in the uh, the Raspberry Pi tiny tiny RSS feed aggregator. Um, if you go back out here to the web real quick, I'll just show you this um, to the tiny tiny RSS. Here's a website that I used, and I'll put a link to this down in the video as well. It's called RSS.com. It's a secure site, and it gives you basically a list of a lot of the feeds that you can uh, load into your tiny tiny RSS feed aggregator. For instance, if you want Reuters RSS, you click here, and it brings up a bunch of feeds that you can go to. Uh, for instance, if you want to see Reuters News Business, you can click on that. And this takes you to the Reuters page. Um, you can see here, here's the feed address. Okay, You just right-click and select it, right-click and copy. All right, And then you load it into your feed aggregator. So let's go back out here to the tiny tiny RSS and I'm going to come up to the news here. The way to do this is you come over to this pancake and select it and select preferences. Um, no, that's not how you do it. It's exit preferences, I'm sorry. Um, you go to the pancake and then ah, pancake subscribe to feed, sorry. This brings up the subscribe to feed dialog box and all you need to do is control V and put in the feed Reuters.com, the, the feed we just grabbed from Reuters Business. I want to change the category here from, unca from uncategorized to news. Uh, there is a way to add categories, okay, and I'll show you that. And then I'm going to subscribe to it. All right, I left the periodicity to be the default, which I believe is uh, every 30 minutes. And so here we have the Reuters Business News. Now, in about 30 minutes' time, you should see something appear here um, in that category. And so you'll be able to click on it and access it and bring it up. Okay. To change the categories or add to categories, you can click on that pancake again. Uh, and you can go down to, um, or up rather, to, to Preferences. And then there is a, a link here for Feeds. All right, and then there's a section here for categories. 
I've got news, technology, and uncategorized. I'm going to select the categories here, down arrow, and you can select add to category. And let's say I want to add a business category here. I can put that, type that in there rather, and click OK. And then now I've got the business category, all right, uh, as a category. Now, if I uh, go back out here, exit preferences, and go back out to the feed, which is the Reuters Business News. Remember, I had originally uh, categorized this as news, um, but it's business news, so maybe it's more appropriate to say that it's business related. If I want to right click and edit this feed, I can do that. And now I can click away from the category of news and click it to the one I just added, which is business, and click save. So what that's going to do is that's going to bring up a third category called business, and it adds Reuters Business News under it. Okay, So that's the way you can control that. Now, when you initially set up the tiny, tiny RSS feed aggregator, you need to get into preferences here and go up to users. Okay, I've got an, an, an admin user, and then I've set up a separate category for my wife. All right. Uh, and you can do that. Uh, you can set up as many category or as many users rather as you want for your family members. Um, you know, I've set up one for my son, uh, that kind of thing, uh, or even guests that might want to read the news while they're at your house. Uh, but you can set up separate categories here, uh, separate user accounts rather. I keep saying categories, separate user accounts, so that my feeds don't get mixed up with my wife's feeds, for instance. She can, she can put her own feeds, her own categories um, in this application, and they're, the twain shall never meet, all right? And so that you don't have to, I don't have to look at stuff that she uh, has under her feeds. Uh, she doesn't have to look at mine. Now, you may be asking yourself, what controls all of that, all right? What controls all of that is a database, and it's a database that's called TTRSS. Uh, if I go out here again to the web and go to Raspberry Pi and go to Tiny Tiny RSS, here's the uh, PHP My Admin, which controls or manages the database I just referred to, uh, that gets installed when you install uh, Tiny Tiny RSS, by the way, using those instructions on the Geek website. That database gets installed, but it's empty, it doesn't have any tables or anything like that. And then when you uh, set it up, uh, and there's instructions on how to uh, copy that over, then it gets uh, populated, uh, which I'll show you with all the tables and, um, and fields and, and such. All right, so let me go ahead and click on that. And that brings up this interface for PHP My Admin. I've got a username and a password set up in there. I'm not going to go into PHP My Admin. If you're not familiar with it, then you need to go to phpmyadmin.com. Org, I believe it is, and it'll tell you how to set that up. I'm going to click Go here, and it should get me in. Here is the database that I was referring to, TTRSS. I'm going to go ahead and expand it, and you can see all of the categories that are listed under here. If I just select the database itself, it brings it over here so we can see it better. Um, I've got, for instance, some archived feeds. If I click on that, it's going to bring up what those archived feeds are. Okay, uh, Wall Street Journal, uh, World News, and the Wall Street Journal, uh, just basic feed here. I deleted that, so when I delete it, it goes into an archive. It doesn't get rid of it totally, but it keeps it in the database in case you want to bring it back. Here's the TTRSS users, and so if I select that particular table, okay, here are the two users. That are in here, all right. And um, so this is the database uh, that gets uh, installed into Tiny Tiny RSS uh, feeds news aggregator, and um, it's it's a great thing. Uh, you mean that, that it's controlled by this database because you've got total control over it now that you can get into PHP My Admin and get into the database. You can actually manipulate it around the application if you need to. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of it because I don't want to destroy the database. Uh, so, all right, so let's uh, close that out. And so this is Tiny Tiny uh, RSS Feed Aggregator. Um, it's a wonderful little application, as I said. I'm going to go ahead and just get out of it altogether. I'm going to exit preferences. To log out of it, 
Uh, well, let's get back into it. I, I didn't show you. I uh, started to show you some stuff, and then I moved out of it. Let's go back to, let's go to the World Journal, uh, Wall Street Journal, and uh, Washington Post. Sorry, I got rid of the Wall Street Journal. Washington Post. Here's uh, one article that's in here. Uh, and if I click on this link, it takes me out to the actual uh, article itself on the Washington Post, or it should. It's waiting for the Washington Post to come up. Sometimes it takes a little longer for it to load. This may not have been a good example. Uh, looks like the Washington Post may be having a, an issue. Not quite sure what's going on with it. Uh, there it comes. All right, so um, here's the article itself. So rather than going up to the Washington Post and trying to search through all these articles and reading every article you don't care about, uh, you can come into your tiny, tiny RSS and you can see the articles. I mean, that's a bad example, I guess, because there's only one. Let's go up to the Drudge Report. Um, let's come down. You know, here's an article, Intense Heat Wave to Strike Paris. You know, this is something coming at you, and you go, oh, that sounds like an interesting article. I didn't have to go on to the Drudge Report to find it. I just went into my tiny, tiny RSS feed aggregator, and I found it this way. And I just click on this link, and it brings it right up. OK, so that here, here I am. I don't have to go searching for my news now. I, my news comes to me, if you will. Love this little application. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it on the Raspberry Pi. It runs 24-7 on the Pi. It never stops. Um, it's got an Apache web server. It's got a MySQL uh, database server uh, and a client. The PHP my admin, and it's got PHP, of course, running as well. Uh, on the Pi, and they're all running at the same time. I never turn the Pi off. It's running 24-7 because I've got several other servers as well running on the Pi at the same time, and they don't interfere with one another. Um, and so I always can get access to my uh, news feed, okay, my RSS uh, news aggregator. Now, on my LAN, um, no matter what device I have, iPad, iPhone, whatever, if I go to 192.168.1.90 forward slash tt rss, I'll hit this uh, aggregator. Uh, it'll come up in my iPad, on my tablet, on my iPhone, uh, on my Arch Linux uh, desktop or laptop. Uh, it'll come up there as well because it's in the web browser. Uh, and as long as I'm on the LAN, I can access it. Not a problem. I do have uh, DD. DD uh, or DNS, uh, DDDNS, I guess it's called, which is dynamic uh, DNS, DDNS, set up on my router, and so I can uh, access things outside my LAN uh, using the DDNS uh, link, which is uh, a, um, a DDNS service I have set up on the router. And so I can get to this outside of my LAN as well using the DDNS address as opposed to this internal address. What happens is it gets resolved and I do have to go into my router and I do have to forward port the uh, forward the port rather for the uh, uh, port for the tiny tiny RSS which I believe is 3306 port 3306. I just forward port that to the router and it opens a hole in the firewall on the router so that requests from outside to this tiny tiny RSS make it to this IP address internally the private one okay works great so I uh, just take my word for it works great all right so this has been tiny tiny RSS news aggregator you can set this up on your Raspberry Pi uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log out here and uh, I encourage you to do that I'm enjoying the hell out of it I really like it and uh, you can too so have a nice day Take care.